the team just arrived here and there's a lot of taxis parked. All of the drivers came running out, tried to drive away, but they will be issued tickets for illegal parking first. If they don't have a license or they don't want to show the license, obviously they'll go on the back of the tow truck. The driver of this taxi was trying to... Bigay mo yan sa pamilya mo, huwag sa amin. Ha? Pwede kang kasuhan ng bribery. Okay. And you see this one is also being towed away. They already put the notice on the back and they're lifting it. The team are now looking at that pickup truck parked on the sidewalk and this little Mazda 3. Both will be ticketed and if no drivers come out, they'll be towed away. If you look at this one here, you can see the red sidewalk, but the vehicle is fully obstructing it. So we're bringing in the tow truck now. And if you're wondering about pedestrians, I've seen a lot of school children come past, both with their parents and by themselves. So clearing the sidewalk, it makes sense. It looks like the driver of that Mazda 3 finally came out, obviously way too late. This one has already been ticketed by enforcers. They're just waiting for the tow truck to come in now. Seen this enforcer standing here for a while. Sun all. They look like they're sleeping so peacefully. Whoops. The team are now in front of a riot market. They're issuing a ticket to this one for illegal parking. This rider said he can't wear a helmet because he has a head injury. I'm not sure what his wife's reason is. And a little bit further along, they're issuing a ticket to this one. And again, that one in the background, both of them considered to be illegally parked. The tow truck is actually coming in for this one now. They're going to pick it up to clear the road. It always amazes me when the driver comes out and they're the one that's angry. This one's interesting. There's an LTO sticker and they're just about to tow it away. A lot of people put stickers on their vehicles, even if they're not associated, just in the hope that it scares away enforcers. The owner of this motorcycle already came out. It's been ticketed for illegal parking, but since there's a driver, he can move it without being towed. And one more vehicle here, obstructing the sidewalk. That's why you see lots of people walking in the road. You'll see that lady walking in the road because the sidewalk is obstructed. Some of the vehicles around here, especially the motorcycles, they're driving very, very fast. And although I'm sure many of my viewers have seen this countless times, especially those who live in Quezon City, it might be interesting for those who live in the provinces. Kind of cool, huh? That rider was already ticketed for driving with a passenger, no helmet. They're doing the same again. The idea is that the passenger goes down and finds alternative means of transport. Don't continue riding without a helmet just because you have a ticket. Lagging down that motorcycle rider, very noisy bike, passenger on the back without a helmet. Looks like they went out to buy some food, but still need a helmet, unfortunately. You know the crazy thing? There's another helmet right there. If they just wore that, Anyway, this is what I was about to show you. They're towing away this jeepney that they consider to be illegally parked. They're also planning to tow this one, but I can see there's a lady sitting on the front of the jeep, so I don't know if this is going to be an obstruction. And you see another jeep up ahead, also being towed for illegal parking. A lot of people say the government should build more roads, but actually there's a lot of roads that can't be used right now because of parked vehicles. So that's why clearing operations are so important. According to enforcers, this lady owns the three jeepneys and van that were parked here. She's angry at one of the jeeps being towed, even though there's a driver. They explained to her the driver said he doesn't have a license. She said he does have a license, he just doesn't want to give it to you because he doesn't want a ticket. So that's for them to fix between themselves. If you told enforcers he doesn't have a license, of course they will impound the vehicle. Enforcers are now looking at these tricycles parked on the sidewalk. There has been a complaint about this area. The conflict is they have a tricycle terminal permit that says they're allowed to be here. This one has already been ticketed for illegal parking and you'll see the towing crew making a video. This is Summer Avenue. Usually they pick up around 10 vehicles on this road. Further along the street, I can see the tow truck getting into position to pick up this one. 
like I mentioned they say they normally pick up around 10 vehicles along this road the driver came out and I can see inside the garage there's chairs and tables if they remove those they could park the vehicle inside you see this cute little van over here they've already hooked up to the tow truck they'll lift it and then pull it away and same thing over here they're connecting the tow bar to this one they'll pick it up and then clear it from the road this one does have a light bar on top but it's being towed away I'm not sure who it belongs to because they've covered up the markings this one was also ticketed for illegal parking and if no driver appears in time could get towed away and just see the enforcer writing out a ticket to this one so far no drivers handed over their license so it could get towed away I actually saw a flatbed parked in front of this but he left maybe the barangay should speak to the property owner here because their wall has collapsed and look what's happened to the sidewalk could probably clear that up with a few guys in like an hour less than what you'll see is that people even put these bollards in the road to reserve parking even though no parking is allowed both sides they'll put these in front of their property and then move them when they need to park the strong man pulls the van